Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I thought it was about time that I did an updated nighttime routine, makeup removal routine with you. The last time I did one was when I was following the, the Korean method of doing the 10 step and that just it got too much. I mean 10 steps every night, just far too much for me. So I've simplified it down to four steps. Um, sometimes a fifth step um, if I decide I want to wear a, a face mask that night but in general four steps so first off I use an oil cleanser and this one is the body shop one um, it's a chamomile silky chamomile cleansing oil can you see that I'll move this in a bit hide my face Oh, the, the makeup still to be removed. You can see my mascara's drifting down my face a bit. Oh, it's, it's still a bit there. So I use two pumps. If it's going to pump. There we go. i just do one at the moment, seeing I'm in the living room. I've got a big bowl of water here, so that's... Um, not too bad so just an oil cleanser is great for being gentle on your eyes and it gets makeup off really well hands filthy but get in all these little crevices Now just a bowl, a bowl, a bowl of warm water and a muslin cloth. You could use a normal face cloth for this. I like a muslin cloth. Muslin? M muslin cloth. And I know you're supposed to be gentle on your face, but I feel that it's doing well if I'm exfoliating at the same time it's probably why I have all the wrinkles that I do and you can see how filthy that is back into the water give it a wee rinse I'm not realising the camera's moving as I'm rinsing and shaking everything about shaking it all about Give it another quick going over just to now for me it's always the edges that I seem to miss so I'm going to go in with my second cleanse which I highly recommend doing a second cleanse and um, this one is a cream cleanser and it's a Avain anti rougeurs clean um cleansing lotion And this is just a clean cleanser and you can see there and again I'm not too picky I just put it on get this makeup off and make sure I'm going around the edges this time again into the nose under the eyes this one's an anti-redness for people who've got sensitive skin. Um, I don't find that my skin's sensitive, but it does go red. Um, it's fairly pink, as you can see at the moment. And let's just rinse again. anti-redness and redder than ever <laughs> but I can't tell you how fresh it feels when you're getting your makeup off at the end of the night to know that you've done a really good cleanse and another thing with using your cloth it works as an exfoliator as well um, 
so you're actually missing out a step or rather adding a step in without having to do anything extra there we go so that's all my cleansing done don't need my bowl of water anymore next thing that I do is normally air, let my face air dry um, so we'll give it a minute and you see at this stage if I was in the mood I would put on a face mask generally I still use sheet masks I know they're not good for the environment and everything if I can get a biodegradable one I do use that my favourite face mask at the moment is the, the Neutrogena anti-aging one and that really works especially around these crows crow's feet, crow's lines that are coming in there and it works wonders. I always see it the next morning and feel my skin's looking great. Next thing I use is an oil. At the moment it is the Ordinary's Rose Hip Seed Oil. And that's a bit of a mouthful for me. Um, you get this in boots. Actually, the two cleansers, you the first one was the body shop, the oil was the body shop and the second one I just got in boots as well so nothing too expensive, it's not cheap neither of them are cheap, what I would call cheap um, but I really like them um, now this ordinary, I've done about four drops onto my hand could see it's and again I'm maybe not the gentlest person on my skin um, but I try and give it a like a massage at the same time with oil it's your hands slip over your face a lot easier this would be an ideal time if you had a facial roller to uh, roll. Not one of the ones with the little pins in them. I've got one of them. And it was fine. It was okay. Um, it's supposed to increase collagen production. Uh, now, at the moment, on my regime, I've started using a retinol based moisturiser night cream but I'm only using it every second night because I don't want to get the retinol uglies which is a lot of dry flaky skin until it kicks in and once your skin gets used to it it really uh, increases the turnover of your skin um, and makes it really nice supposedly but because I've just started that I can't recommend it as yet um, so I'm just recommending a normal night cream, anyone will do. Um, I actually think this one's a really good one. This is the Avant night cream, face and eye cream. But I find that as long as I use the oil underneath, a cheap one like L'Oreal, um, I've got a, this one's nearly finished, so I've actually got a L'Oreal one on standby um, and put a thick layer of that on and I suppose it's like cold cream from years ago um, maybe when doing the war there goes the top so not too much but about a 50 piece pen size is what I use I know they all say oh just use a 5p to me, I've got a big face and a big neck, so I need to use a bit more. And if I've got left on my hand, I use it on my elbows. Um, why I said that one's not necessary, it is very expensive, but I got it with a glossy box. If you watch my channel regular, you'll know that I do glossy box unboxings and I do love it, the Avant. There's my hands getting done. 
maybe that will stop the age spots and that's it that's as easy as it is my four steps and sometimes five for taking your makeup off at night i hope you've enjoyed that see you next time